Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel Walker, and today I want to talk about sodomites. Now, for those of you who don't know, the First Word Baptist, sorry, First Works Baptist Church, uh, being headed by Pastor Bruce McGee, which was led out and ordained by Stephen Anderson, has been firebombed, according to ABC News. FBI investigating explosion graffiti at California church known for anti-LGBT views. So they have to chuck that in there, you know, to sort of make you say, oh, well, maybe they deserve it, right? They always have to put their spin on it. The pastor of First Works Baptist Church has drawn condemnation. The FBI and local authorities are investigating an explosion and vandalism at a church in Southern California known for its controversial pastor and his anti-LGBTP views. Must be a typo. The First Works Baptist Church in El Monte, California, just east of downtown Los Angeles, was shaken by a blast in the early morning hours Saturday, according to the FBI. When responding to the scene just after 1am local time, there was smoke coming out of the windows, and the outside of the church was covered with graffiti, the Los Angeles County Fire Department said. Quote, It appears that the walls to the church had been vandalized, as well as all the windows, El Monte Police Lieutenant Christopher Cano told reporters Saturday. Quote, The windows appeared at first to be smashed. Then we realized that the windows were not smashed, that they had actually been blown out from some type of explosion. Well, I mean, you know, was the glass on the inside or the outside? Good work, FBI. Glad you figured this one out. The FBI referred to the explosion as an IED attack and said bomb technicians were on the scene investigating. So we're dealing with reprobate terrorists. You know, these people that were told are full of love and tolerance, right? You know, these loving people, these tolerant people they've been sending death threats to the church for a long time and you know very lucky that nobody was in the church because somebody could have died i mean this could have literally have been a terrorist attack by these homosexual activists no one was injured in the blast police said the first works baptist church and its pastor bruce mejia had developed a reputation for inflammatory language labeled by many as hate speech no such thing as hate speech. The Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a Jewish organization, which tracks hate groups, labeled First Works Baptist Church a hate group in 2019 for its anti-LGBTP stance. An online petition... See, look at this. They've always got to plug it. I mean, this is a tragedy. This could have been murder. But they're still going to uh, side with the reprobates anyway. An online petition calling for the mayor of El Monte to force the First Works Baptist Church out of the city has garnered more than 15,000 views. So they have to chuck that in there so they can get more views and more signatures. In reports on social media, Mejia strongly opposes gay marriage. Ooh, God forbid. He also has used his social media accounts to repeatedly mock Mr. President Joe Biden and is strongly opposed to vaccinations regularly sharing memes dismissing the COVID-19 vaccine. Which is not really a vaccine, it's more a deadly concoction of chemicals and genetic modifiers. Moving on. In the comments to the New York Times after the blast, Mejia said, quote, This is the pastor, by the way, for those of you who don't know. It's not going to really deter us from doing what we always do. We're not afraid of this, it's just a little bump in the road, and we're still planning to have church tomorrow. Obviously not at this location. But we're still planning to have church, and once it's all said and done, we're going to go back. He added. Now check this out. This is the person investigating, who is meant to be, I mean, helping the church out. This is a part of the community that was just attacked by terrorists. Now you tell me who the county supervisor is really looking out for here. LA County Supervisor Hilda Solis, who represents the district where the explosion happened, said in a statement that, quote, violence is never the answer. 
even in response to hate speech. What is the legal definition of hate speech in America? Well, there's no such thing. I should tell you who Hilda Solis is on the side of. Quote, although we do not know, sorry, although we do not yet know the motive, I know the motive, read Romans chapter one. These people are haters, they're murderers, and they're deceitful. They're despicable people. Reading on, I'm aware of the anti-LGBTP and misogynistic sermons given by the pastor of First Words Baptist Church. You're getting the picture here, guys? Whose side is this supervisor on? And my office has referred concerning matters pertaining to the pastor to my county Humans, Human Rights Commission, who has been working in collaboration with the city of El Monte to de-escalate the situation. So this person is trying to get the church in trouble with the county's Human Rights Commission while also heading up this investigation. Something tells me that they're not going to find the uh, reprobate activist who did this. Quote, I value inclusivity, diversity and equality. I also support the right to peacefully protest. Hmm. However, this attack is wrong and it is dangerous. Solis added. Yeah, they could have fucking killed someone. I urge city leaders, church leaders and civic leaders to come together and work together to address hate issues in our community. What about the issue of domestic terrorism? <laughs> I mean, seriously? This is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Now, this is a Southern Poverty, Southern Poverty Law Center website, the Jewish organization. And as you can see here on this map, when I go here, um, this is the church here that they've listed as a hate organization for reading what the Bible says. See how it comes up on the map over here? It's, it's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. The real hate organization is the SPLC. Hi everybody, this is Pastor Jonathan Shelley from Steadfast Baptist Church. And I want to make a video about what's happened to one of my friends, Pastor Bruce Mejia of First Works Baptist Church in El Monte, California. Uh, earlier this morning, he was, uh, his church was firebombed and they were also vandalized. A developing story in the San Gabriel Valley. A church in El Monte was left damaged this morning after an explosion and a vandalism attack. Now a bomb squad is at this scene amid a possible threat of a second blast. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live on Tyler Avenue near Elliott with the latest. And it's very obvious who did this. He's been protested for the last few weeks by lots of sodomites. And the news media has had a hand in this because they did a little hit piece against him and his church, basically inciting these sodomites to come and riot and to just come and distract their services and protest and attack them. And they've gone to an extreme now where they've literally uh, thrown bombs into the church building and it's being investigated. But, you know, I just want to make this video to say that I fully support Pastor Bruce Mejia and First Works Baptist Church. Uh, especially on their stand against the sodomites. Uh, it's very clear in scripture and history and statistics that these sodomites, they're dangerous predators. They're pedophiles. They're some of the most evil, wicked people on the planet. The Bible says that they're full of all unrighteousness. And so uh, what we do as a, a preacher of God is just to preach what the Bible says. And it's not our opinion. It's not Pastor Bruce Mahe's opinion. It's the Bible's opinion that tells us these people are dangerous, they're predators, that they want to harm people. And so we see the manifestation of that when we just preach the Word of God and just out of nowhere they come and attack and harass us and do evil against us. And so it's time for Christians to actually stand up. It's time for Christians to take a stand and to support men like Pastor Bruce Mejia. If you're anywhere in California, you should go to his church and you should support Pastor Bruce Mejia. You should support First Works Baptist Church. Or even if you can't get there, maybe you should just donate online or send them a check or you know email them and tell them that you support them. Because we need men like Pastor Bruce Mejia today. And they're coming under severe persecution. And this is just the beginning. And so we need to stand up and preach the truth. 
You know, Pastor Bruce, he is a great friend of mine. He actually helped us work on a documentary called The Sodomite Deception. And it's actually a documentary that's coming out this Monday exposing these sodomites, the dangerous, filthy predators that they have always been, all the way from the beginning of the Bible story in Genesis 9, Genesis 19, and even Judges 19. And, you know, if you want to check out our film, you could go to our website, sodomitedeception.com, and you can watch the film. It's going to be coming out on this Monday. But more importantly, I would say, you know, you need to get in there and support Pastor Bruce Mejia, support First Works Baptist Church. We need more churches like First Works Baptist Church, not less. And we need Christians to actually stand for what the Word of God teaches, not what's comfortable, not what's convenient. You know, if you think Trump or, you know, some other person is going to be your savior, it's not. You know, we need to preach the truth and we need to be the ones that actually stand up and actually fight against these criminals, against these predators, and specifically these pedophiles. That's what these people are. And, you know, as God's people, we need to stand for the truth today. And we shouldn't be ashamed of anything that the Bible teaches. You know, the Bible tells us in Matthew 10, 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And so the only person we're supposed to fear is God himself. And so we need Christians to get a backbone today and to stand up and to not cower and to not be weak and lily livered, but rather to be hair legged men of God and stand on the Bible. And you need to get in a church that supports what the Bible teaches. I know there's a lot of people, they know what the Bible teaches on this doctrine, yet they decide to stay home or to cower or to just go hide. But this is not the time to hide. This is the time to come out and to support men of God, to stand on the Bible, and to be ye steadfast. And that is Pastor Jonathan Shelley and uh, his take on that. And yeah, I definitely recommend getting in touch with them, helping them out if you can. Um, I mean, I'm in Australia. I'm not from America, but even though I'm not from America, I feel still like this is really close to home for me because I've been watching these guys for years. And it just goes to show that these reprobates are not tolerant or loving at all. I mean, they send disgusting emails to these churches full of wickedness. They taunt them, they harass them, they stalk them. And now they're committing open terrorist attacks, which has largely been fueled by this criminal organization. Now, in some other news about the reprobates, I did a video recently that was removed for hate speech about the, uh, well, if you want to check it out, you can check it out on BitChute or GoyimTV.tv. Censorship is getting rampant here, and one thing they especially don't like us talking about is the reprobate. What a shame. So one strike on the channel there. I did upload this video onto my backup channel. If you guys want to check it out, I recommend you do. This is a documentary I did on well, Bolshevism, Stalinism, Marxism, and the Holodomor. Uh, BitChute has just recently censored this. If you go to the YouTube, if you go to the BitChute video and try to play it, you'll notice that all the comments in the comments section have been completely deleted, all but two, which is very strange. You, you go to play the video, it just loads and loads and loads and loads. It doesn't play. I sat it there for half an hour trying to load it, it wouldn't play. It's not my ISP. I've got friends in Europe, in America, um, in Asia, who I asked to play the video if they could check it out. It doesn't work for them either. Now, this is on my backup channel, like I said. This channel will probably go down as a result of this. So if you want to check out this video, I recommend you do so. And please download it, spread it around, because I even had trouble putting this video on Gab yesterday. So I think there's something very important about this uh this documentary. It's also largely based on Alexander Solzhenitsyn's book, 200 Years Together. In the translation process from Russian to English, there were 10 chapters scrubbed and removed from the book. I managed to trace down those 10 chapters and I quote them heavily in this documentary. And I think that is one of the reasons why they want to scrub this video completely off the internet in the midst of what is happening in America today, which is more or less, another Bolshevik Jewish um, insurgency. It is a Bolshevik revolution under the guise of liberal nihilism. 
and anti-Christian sentiments. That's what this Black Lives Matter stuff is. That's what Biden represents. And it's not going away. It's not getting any easier, folks. So, yeah, that's my video today. If you want to join the Telegram group, there will be a link in the description below for that as well. Come check it out. And on that note, folks, thanks for watching. God bless. Be sure to thumb it up. Subscribe if you're new. And please, share the video around. Comments in the comment section below. Thanks, guys. God bless. Peace.